Okay, here's a quick demo to uh, make hill shade and other data products from high resolution topography that's available on open topography. We're going to use as an example the Sunset Crater area of uh, Arizona. So you want to go to open topography and then you can just click on data and that'll take you to a map which is a nice place to start and then you can just zoom in here uh, this is the high resolution topography. There's uh, global data, or at least plus or minus uh, 60 degrees latitude from SRTM. Uh, but let's go to here and uh, you can see Meteor Crater, but also if you go near Flagstaff, here's Sunset Crater. These are really nice data that uh, were shared from the National Monument and we've put online so you can click on select a region let's uh, just pick the crater there and we'll come up with um, Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument and click on get data and then you see there's my selection now one thing that's important is I'm not logged in as my as a user my open topo we strongly encourage you to do so because then you can uh, process more data because right now you see that the selection area estimates up to uh, uh, 57 million points. So I need to make it a little smaller if I'm going to come in as a guest. Uh, otherwise, I should really best get my my open topo account. So how's that? 43 million points estimated. So for now, we're going to use all the points, ground and and unclassified. We'll uh, make a one meter digital elevation model. That's what this is here. Max triangle size is uh, not going to be relevant in this case, but it would just, um, if there were triangles that were part of the interpolation that were longer than 50 meters on a leg, it would not produce them. Uh, now we'll, we can make derivative products. And one key thing is to click on create additional KMZ files, because this will make a KMZ that we can look at in Google Earth. For now, we won't do TAUDEM, that's uh, for hydrologic modeling, and then I can just say uh, test sunset uh, crater all points, and I have to put my email address in. Submit. So now it's running, and so what we've done is as it, it goes through the, the workflow, it shows where it is, and so it's, if you leave this window open, it'll um, complete, but also if you close the window and go away, you'll get an email at the email address that you provide when it's done. And it'll take usually a couple minutes, depending on exactly uh, how you, how you, what you choose and how many points are involved. So the first part is done. We've got our points. Now we're computing the digital elevation model from the LiDAR points. Okay, so the job completed. And so we can download various products, the points themselves, the digital elevation models, the uh, hill shade and slope products. These would be what you could put into um, programs such as ArcGIS. But what we really want to look at is there's the JPEG of our hill shade. And you could click to view it in Google Map or uh, so we'll see right here. But what I prefer to do is to look at that KMZ file. I had to specifically make it, and now I can look at it in Google Earth. So there we have it. There's the hill shade at one meter of Sunset Crater. One thing you can see is there's a decent amount of vegetation, the trees here. And so what if we wanted to look at this place with a digital elevation model or a hill shade of the ground returns only. So if you go back to the report here from your job and you click on modify and resubmit, and again this is more accessible if you do this from my open topo, but our job is still there, all the settings are the same. So just unclick the unclassified which means that we only will get the ground points. You see that now there's only 19 million. Remember there were 43 million before. So it shows many points are just sampling trees. 
uh, we think, and so this is what we think are the ground points. So let's keep everything else the same, one meter digital elevation model. Let's don't forget to generate those additional CAMZ files. And we'll just change the, the title to say ground points. And I'll have to provide my email address again. And so let's run it. Okay, our query's done. Now we're computing the DEM. Notice uh, one small point is the estimate of the points was 19 million. The actual points is 22 million. So, okay, and now we see our job is done. So we look at everything, and there you can see the browse the image here. The JPEG of the hill shade shows no, none of the vet, the trees. So let's click on the CAMZ file and launch it into Google Earth. And so here you can then see we turn it on and off. We can see the hill shade of the bare earth and then all of the data. And uh, we can turn then just see the imagery from Google Earth and then go back through. So there you go. That's how to make a nice uh, set of results using open topography and the high resolution data that we have in our holdings. And so I encourage you to play with it more.